centuries ago in a desolate monastery hidden away amidst the rugged bohemian mountains resided a nameless monk within his inner circle he was renowned for his unwavering commitment to the almighty and his unmatched expertise in the deciphering ancient languages as the monk delved deeper into his studies his once bright eyes began to gleam with an unsettling darkness the ancient text he poured over revealed secrets that would cause the bravest of men to tremble. But to the monk, they were his life's purpose. Who was the monk living in a remote monastery and what did he discover while studying ancient languages? Whispers of the monk's strange practices and unsettling aura spread beyond the monastery walls and soon the local villagers began to fear him. Some claimed to have seen him communing with dark forces while others whispered of unspeakable rituals performed under the cover of darkness. But despite his piety and scholarly achievements, he was haunted by a dark secret. For years he had been working on a manuscript that he knew would be his life's masterpiece, a book that would contain all of human knowledge, both sacred and profane. As he poured his heart and soul into the pages of his manuscript, the monk became increasingly consumed by his obsession. He worked tirelessly day and night, barely sleeping or eating and neglecting his other duties as a monk. His fellow brothers began to whisper about him, calling him a madman and speculating about what terrible secrets he was hiding within his pages. Finally, after years of labor, his masterpiece was complete. He called it the Codex Gigas or the Devil's Bible for the dark legend that had grown up around it. According to the legend, the book had been written in a single night by a monk who had sold his soul to the devil in exchange for knowledge to create it. And indeed, the Codex Gigas was a truly impressive work, a massive tome that weighed over 165 pounds and measured 3 feet tall and 2 feet wide. Its pages were filled with intricate illustrations, Latin text, and even some Hebrew and Greek. But his joy at completing his life's work was short-lived. As soon as he had finished the book, he knew that he had done something terrible. He had sold his soul to the devil, just like the monk in the legend. For in his quest to include all knowledge in his book, he had come across dark and forbidden knowledge that had corrupted his soul. For years, the Codex Gigas remained hidden away in the monastery, shrouded in secrecy and fear. But eventually, word of its existence leaked out, and scholars and collectors from around the world began to seek it out. Some claimed that it held the key to unlocking ancient mysteries, while others believed that it contained hidden codes and ciphers that could reveal the location of lost treasures. The only treasure that's not lost is your like and subscribe for more tales of forgotten secrets. But those who sought the Codex Gigas did so at great peril for it was said that the book was cursed. Anyone who possessed it would suffer a terrible fate just like the writer himself. Some said that the book was haunted by the spirit of the monk who had created it and that he would haunt anyone who dared to disturb his creation. Despite the legends and warnings, the Codex Gigas continued to fascinate and terrify scholars and collectors for centuries. Some claimed that they had seen its pages glow in the dark or heard whispers and moans emanating from its depths. Others believed that it was protected by powerful spells and enchantments and that only the bravest and most foolish would dare to lay hands on it. What are some of the most haunting legends or warnings associated with the Codex Gigas and have any of these claims been substantiated by scholars or collectors? The Codex Gigas is not only for its haunting legend, but also for its incredible calligraphy. The pages are a true work of art, with each letter and illustration painstakingly crafted by hand. It is said that the calligraphy within the Codex Gigas is so precise and intricate that it could only have been created by a skilled master of the art. The manuscript is written in a type of calligraphy known as Gothic script, which was popular in Europe during the Middle Ages. The script is characterized by its tall, narrow letters, which are often embellished with flourishes and ornate designs. The Gothic script was commonly used for religious texts and was particularly popular in Germany and other parts of Central Europe. What makes the calligraphy in the Codex Gigas unique is not just its style, but also its scale. 
The manuscript is enormous, with each page measuring over 3 feet tall and 2 feet wide. This meant that the scribe who created the book had to use a massive quill and would have had to stand on a ladder or scaffold in order to reach the top of the page. Despite the challenges posed by its size, the calligraphy within the Codex Gigas is remarkably consistent and precise. The letters are evenly spaced and perfectly formed, with no signs of smudging or mistakes. This is a testament to the skill and dedication of the scribe who created it. The illustrations within the Codex Gigas are equally impressive. The manuscript contains over 160 illustrations, including depictions of biblical scenes, portraits of saints, and even an image of the devil himself. These illustrations are just as intricately detailed as the calligraphy, with every line and shading carefully considered and executed. What kind of illustrations can be found in the Codex Gigas, and which one is considered the most frightening? As the pages of the Codex Gigas are turned, the reader's gaze is drawn into an image that exudes an aura of darkness and terror. It is the infamous portrait of the devil, considered to be the most chilling depiction within the entire tomb. The portrait portrays the devil towering over a sea of flames, his eyes glowing with an otherworldly light as they gaze out at the observer. His skin is a sticky shade of green, and his horns curve wickedly above his twisted features. Legend says that the artist behind the portrait was so absorbed in his work that he entered a trance-like state, capturing the essence of a malevolence itself. The portrait serves as a warning reminding people that there are evil forces at play in the world. It cautions against delving too deeply into the forbidden knowledge contained within the Codex, as doing so may lead to great danger. The portrait serves as a haunting reminder that the pursuit of knowledge can come at a cost, and that some secrets are better left buried. The image of the devil lingers in the mind of the viewer, a menacing symbol of the dangers that await those who dare to look too deeply into the abyss. Now that you've experienced a glimpse into the haunting secrets within the Codex Gigas, what other dark mysteries would you like to uncover? Leave a comment below and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date with more chilling tales of forbidden knowledge.